Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Back here with Jerry, Jerry's Custom Vans. You might recognize him. He's been on the channel before. You may also recognize him because his daughter is Deanna Dunn, a van life builder and influencer on TikTok and Instagram. Well, today he's gonna to give us a tour of his newest creation on a Ram Promaster, so join us. Thanks, Patrick, for having me back again. I want to show you my uh, latest creation. It's a uh, 2019 Ram Promaster 159-inch wheelbase. The reason why I use the 159-inch wheelbase, it's much easier to park, parallel park, uh, to get in and out, where the extended ones, uh, you run into too much trouble. You'll see that this uh, van, I put a step up so you're not stretching to get in. I have the edging there to protect the floor. And it's the LVP floor that's on half inch plywood plus insulation. I have a step here for the, uh, the seating that has storage. When you come in, you'll see that the refrigerator is right here. I have a lock on it. And then I also have a shutoff right here off to the side where you can un just unplug it so you're not using that energy. The cushions that I've made for the storage here, I have plywood back so it's much uh, sturdier. You can see the extra shelving and storage that's here. We have the curtains that give you the blackout for, for night privacy. Uh, they're white on the other side, so if for some reason you wanted to turn those around and have the black facing out, you could easily do that. I have the swivel bases, not just the swivels, but the swivel bases, which lowered them a little bit so they're not so high, so you can use the table sitting here or here. So there's room for three or four people to actually e eat in here. You'll notice the tabletop here is a hardwood tabletop with a semi-gloss poly. It is mounted on the Lagoon table mount that's adjustable up and down, back and forth, and I painted it black for aesthetics. If you look up, you'll see the, uh, the ceiling and the walls are made with uh, lapboard that are painted with rock wool insulation all throughout that provides a, a great insulation that does not mold, even if it happened to get wet. We'll see the Max Air fan that's here that you're able to open it up. Uh, and even uh, use it while you're driving. The LED lights throughout, uh, they're on a switch here. They're also on a, d a dimmer. We'll see the cabinet here is the sink cabinet with a nice deep sink, adjustable uh, faucet, cabinet door opens for storage. We have the gauge for the water tank. We have the switch for the pump water pump and then we have the uh, the switch for the water exhaust down at the bottom a ball valve to let the gray water tank water out. We also have a water filter in the cabinet. This build I put a garbage can in. We have two drawers, microwave here, extra cabinet space underneath. We have an induction cooktop inset into the butcher block. We have uh, outlets, electrical outlets and USB ports for here. We have the uh, battery monitor system here, the uh, on and off switch for the 3000 watt inverter, and this controls the shower light thermostat here. So you could see thermometer, you could see what the uh, temperature is next to the diesel heater control right there. And also for protection, the carbon monoxide alarm little cubby here for uh, for whatnots up top here for kitchen items. For the electrical system, I have uh, three 100 amp hour lithium Renergy batteries. I have a 3000 watt inverter that controls the electric. And then I have a 350 watt solar panels on the roof. We have a easy breezy air cooler that will reduce the, uh, the temperature anywhere from 10 to 30 degrees, depending on the humidity. I have lighting above the bed area here that also has USB connections to charge your cell phones or whatever else you might have. Two windows that I installed here for ventilation that can open and close. We also have blackout blinds for those for privacy as well as the back. This is the power center up here with all the breakers, fuses, storage here. The bed is uh, an RV queen size, 59 inches by 74 inches. The access to the bed has a step up here, making it easy to climb in without having any problem jumping in and hitting your head on the ceiling. We have a full shower here with a cedar grate. We have tile, a cubby, a special grout and adhesive, 
And then we have the Nautilus shower door. The nice thing about the Nautilus is it uh, squeegees the water off the door uh, when it closes and opens. The shower pan is a fiberglass resin with FRP on the walls. It drains into a 20 gallon gray water tank that has a ball valve for easy disposal. Below the step up is the vent for the diesel heater uh, that will heat the, uh, the cabin as well as underneath the bed in the garage. We have three drawers for storage here, all with good quality magnets to hold them tight while you're driving. If you look up here, we have, uh, we have blackout shades for the, uh, for the windows. We have the little ones uh, for that. They have little tabs to pull them out. And we'll go outside and we'll look at uh, what's out here. If you look down here, you'll see two things. One is the uh, exhaust for the diesel heater. And then we have the gray water tank, the ball valve there that you can hook a hose up or drain it directly onto the ground. I added a window to be able to uh, see while you're driving, to have light into the, uh, to the van. That also has a blackout curtain. On top, you'll see the max air fan, the solar panels, as well as the air cooler. We have the shore power connection that with the transfer switch inside. Let's open up the back. You can see the electrical components, the kill switch, fuses, the 100 amp hour lithium batteries, the transfer switch, 3000 watt inverter, and the DC charger, as well as the diesel heater. Plenty of storage. We see the heat exchange water heater, water pump, that's, that's all connected light. And we have the diesel tank for, which easily comes out to be filled on the ground. So this way, not spilling any diesel fuel inside the van itself. Right here, we have the low point drain in which you could drain out the, uh, the, the 20 gallon uh, water tank that's located right here. It also acts as a siphon when you're winterizing it with RV antivries. Under the bed, we have the slats here. Uh, these were Ikea bed slats, which we ended up adding plywood for a little extra support. Uh, didn't want to have it completely covered, so any heat that's here would come up through the mattress. Let me show you one of the blinds that I made. They are blackout blinds with magnets, heavy duty magnets, that'll give you uh, plenty of privacy. We have panels that are uh, insulating on the door. You always hear the di difference when you close the door once they're insulated. There's a nice little thud instead of a rattly noise. One last thing I want to show you here is the uh, water connection here. You can screw the hose right into here to fill your water tank. Jerry, thank you very much for taking the time today to give us a tour of your newest creation. The last two ProMasters that we featured that you built on this channel had a rear dinette that folded into the bed. This one has a permanent bed. You moved the shower down a little bit? Yes. And you added a front dinette. Can you tell us a little bit about this new idea of the floor plan? Well, when I've tried to sell the other vans, I'd always have questions about uh, even converting the, uh, the seating area to a fixed bed, which uh, I decided that let me go with a fixed bed this time and to see how that uh, how that goes over. And your last two vans, you used AGM batteries, and this time you have lithium. Can you tell us a little bit about the reason why you went with those? Well, based on customer feedback, uh, the lithium batteries are seem to be more requested. They're a much better quality battery. Uh, you can run those down way below 50%, uh, unlike the, uh, the gel batteries. And I decided to go with Renergy to keep everything consistent. You're selling this van. This is your fifth build. We filmed three of them. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about how they're going to find out about you and your company and where this is listed? Well, this will be shown on Instagram, uh, Facebook Marketplace, as well as vanlifetrader.com. And I'm sure this isn't your last build. Can you tell us a little bit about what's in the future for you? Well, I'm thinking of uh, whether it's going to be the next build or not. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking of taking a mini school bus. Gives you a little more space, a uh, little more width, a little more length uh, for uh, for more uh, living. We'll have to see what uh, if there's interest for something like that and uh, haven't decided yet. Jerry, thank you very much for taking the time today to visit us here in this beautiful location in Brick Township, New Jersey. 
I'm gonna to link to your Instagram account so our viewers could click over there to check out this build as well as your future builds. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, and subscribe. I love it. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much.